What's up YouTube? Happy New Year everyone. Today I am going to be doing a video that is not about China or North Korea or some other crazy place that I've been. I'm actually going to be discussing what life is like in Army basic training. So in case you're not up to speed, I recently enlisted in the Army Reserves. I signed up for a six year initial enlistment and I shipped to BCT back in October. So I'm going to be giving you guys the rundown based on my personal experience and hopefully that will give you an idea of what to expect. So first off, uh, we'll talk about ship night, or the night before you ship rather. Uh, if you're active duty, how this is going to work is you will go to a hotel, you will spend the night there, you'll get up super early the next morning, and you will go to MEPS, you'll do your oath of enlistment again, and you will be given your, uh, your airline itinerary, your food vouchers, you get two food vouchers by the way, um, and you'll get a copy of your orders as well and that'll all come in one packet and then you will get to the airport probably five to six hours before your flight even takes off if your reserves are National Guard life is a little bit easier your recruiter will just come pick you up at your house typically around 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning they will provide you with everything that you need uh, that you're going to take with you to basic and then uh, you will you will uh, get on the plane and go to your basic training location and once you get there you will check in at the reception battalion and just to be clear on this reception does not count as part of basic it's week zero it's just where you go to in process and basically what that means is MEPS all over again you're gonna get your shots you're gonna get your dental exams you're gonna get your eye exams uh, you'll be issued your uniforms and you will get your haircuts I'm sure you guys know that uh, they're going to shave your head, you're going to lose all your hair, um, and uh, they typically, uh, they, they give you a haircut once every two weeks, so just be prepared to be bald all the time. It sucks to suck. Anyway, after uh, three to seven days in the reception battalion, you will finally uh, ship off to basic, or the basic training site, which is probably five to seven minutes away. You'll get on a bus, uh, it's, chances are it's going to be one of those white buses that they use to transport prisoners, which is only fitting. Uh, you're going to have your duffel bag with all of your civilian stuff and all the stuff that you got issued in the, uh, in the reception battalion. And you're going to file onto the bus, there will be a drill sergeant there, they're going to be like, sit down, sit down, they're going to tell you not to talk and you'll have your duffel bag in your lap and they will tell you to put your head down into your duffel bag like this and you will ride to your basic training site exactly like that it's, it's almost like they don't want you to see where you're going or you're not worthy of looking up at them I don't know uh, some kind of stupid game that they play with you at this uh, at this time so uh, when you when you arrive at your basic training site, uh, that's going to begin your shark attack. The drill sergeant will order you to get off the bus and uh, you will take off running to the CTA line. And it's, it's a pretty long jog, a pretty long run rather. And uh, there will be drill sergeants along the way that will be jumping out at you and, and tearing your face off. And then when you finally arrive at the, at the CTA line, you'll be ordered to hold your duffel bag over your head like this for about 15 or 20 minutes. Those duffel bags are pretty heavy. Again, I remember a lot of girls were crying. A lot of people were mentally scrambled because of how chaotic it was. They had us dump our stuff out. Uh, then pack it back up again, dump it out, pack it back up again. And then we had to throw all our duffel bags in a pile and they gave us like two to three minutes to alphabetize them and there was no way that was ever going to happen. So uh, we, got, we got smoked for that and that's, that's uh, usually how it's going to go for the first week. You're going to be given all of these stupid remedial tasks that there's, uh, that, that there's no way you can complete on time or there's no way you can do right. And it's just uh, nothing but smoke in the city. So uh, be prepared for that. Um, wake up time is uh, 0500 and lights out is at 2100. Uh, I'll go ahead and discuss what life is like in the DFAC or the Chow Hall before I continue with uh, uh, how things go in red phase. So in the Chow Hall, 
uh, you would think that's your time to kind of chill and uh, you know take your mind off everything that you've been through throughout the day but it is anything but in fact the chow hall is probably one of the more stressful uh, environments of basic training um, I'm not going to go into it too much but I will tell you this uh, when you when you sit down to eat eat as as quickly as you can uh, don't don't look around like some kind of curious George don't talk to the person sitting across from you just sit down and start eating because you're gonna get maybe 10 to 12 minutes to finish your meal and uh, it's it's usually not enough time uh, they're supposed to give you 15 minutes but they don't honor that there was one time uh, I only got like six minutes to eat and uh, I threw away like half the stuff that was on my plate I remember looking down at uh, other people that were sitting at the same table that I was and everybody had at least one thing on their plate that they did not have enough time to finish so <clears throat> it's uh, it's it, it's it's pretty rough uh, not getting enough to eat and having to uh, to go through what, what you go through on a daily basis so anyway back on red face it's gonna Red face is going to last usually around three to four weeks. It can be a little bit longer depending on how well you guys pick things up. But um, uh, for me, it was three weeks, and uh, it's all PT. It's uh, you'll get your your weapons issued toward the end of red phase, which will be your M4 carbines, and then you'll do what's called the hammer, which is where you'll spend one night out in the woods, and you'll do a bunch of FTX drills and. Uh, work on tactical movements when you move to white phase you will qualify with your weapon you got to hit 23 shots out of 40 uh, to be able to qualify and uh, you will have to do it with backup iron sights and M68 close combat optics you will also do the anvil which is basically the hammer all over again except this time it's two nights uh, you'll do some FTX drills you will then do Ramagan, which is where you'll throw live hand grenades. In blue phase, you will do the forge, which is what I have to do next. It's our final uh, graduation requirement, and you're probably, you know, since I said that, I should probably go ahead and say this. Uh, I'm eight and a half weeks into basic training. The reason I'm not there right now is because I'm out on what's called victory block leave, or VBL, and what that is is a two-week break for the holidays, for the Christmas and New Year's holidays, and it, it's you know that they let you go home for two weeks. So that's the only reason that I'm a free man right now. If I had gone to basic any other time during the year, I would not be at home. I would not be making this video right now. I would still be uh, in basic training, going through the torment. So something to keep in mind if you're if you ship during the winter time one thing you do have to look forward to is victory block leave thanksgiving though you don't get a day off you don't get to go home uh, your family doesn't get to visit you all you get to do is just go to the defac you'll eat a big thanksgiving meal and uh, the drill sergeants can't smoke you which is also pretty cool something to look forward to as well um, so anyway continuing on with blue phase the forge is what you're gonna start off with it's gonna be uh, four nights out in the woods you'll work on tactical movements you'll do Nick at night which is where they fire live rounds at you while you're conducting uh, some uh, a uh, night infiltration exercise then uh, you'll 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 might you might take the ACFT afterwards uh, for us we took it before we got into blue phase but uh, the ACFT might come afterwards depending on how things are organized at your basic training location um, one thing that's worth mentioning is the ACFT or the Army Combat Fitness Test is new. We're actually the first uh, basic training cycle to implement that and uh, it's been a struggle for a lot of people surprisingly. Uh, they find that they can't pass certain events. A lot of the females have especially struggled with it so if you're female it's, it, this uh, might be something that you want to put some extra emphasis on because it is a graduation requirement. Um, anyway, once you get past all that, uh, the final two weeks is just, you know, cleaning and doing some mundane tasks. Uh, you'll do drill and ceremony, which is going to prepare you for graduation day. 
and that's pretty much it. It's all about getting through the time, uh, finding ways to uh, keep yourself mentally strong while you're uh, while while you're just you know going through the slog of of uh, basic combat training. So that's that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Uh, if you felt I left something out. Uh, something important, you know, drop a comment, share the info. That's always appreciated. Other than that, I just advise you guys to embrace the suck, be a team player, stay as mentally strong as you can while you're going through this, and I wish you guys all the luck in the world. Take care.